All right. To show you what Lakeflow can do for you in the real world, I built an application for a major bank using synthetic data. While this is a POC, it's extremely powerful. It uses synthetic data to create per customer recommendations for a major financial institution. This unlocks millions of dollars worth of value. But of course, the real magic is in the data. So let's take a look. This is Lakeflow Connect. It comes with a suite of connectors that make it easy to ingest data from Salesforce, Workday, ServiceNow, SQL Server, and many other systems. Let's see how easy this is to use. Let me click on Salesforce. And as you can see, with just four steps, you can bring fresh, clean data from multiple places into Databricks. But I'm not going to ingest more data right now because I've already taken care of this using Lakeflow Connect. Let me go to the Lakeflow job. Now remember, Lakeflow jobs is what runs your workloads in production. So this is the job. On the left, I am ingesting data from Salesforce campaigns. I'm ingesting customer profile data from Microsoft SQL Server. And finally, since this is a large bank, we have a legacy IBM ZOS mainframe containing our investment transactions. We're ingesting this data using the secure FTP connector. Once this data is ingested into the lake house, I built a hyper-personalization pipeline using Lakeflow declarative pipelines. Hyper-personalization means that I am able to give per customer recommendations. Once the pipeline runs, I use the branching operator to check if it succeeded. If it failed, I send out an alert. If it succeeds, I update an AIBI dashboard, I write recommendations to Unity Catalog, and finally, I use a looping operator which loops over a set of virtual machines to update them. This is great because I can encapsulate the entire logic of my job into Lakeflow, Lakeflow Jobs. But Jobs is more than just an orchestrator that runs your workloads. It also offers deep monitoring. For example, I can see where time and money is being spent and monitor cost and control it. Let's zoom in to the hyper-personalization pipeline, which I built using Lakeflow Connect. So this is the hyper-personalization pipeline. Let me show you what's going on over here. Raw data is arriving here, and it's being cleaned, filtered, and aggregated, and finally being put in the gold layer in these materialized views. Let me show you. Over here, I'm going to use the DAG and its toolbar to navigate to the data samples. As you can see here, for each customer, we are creating recommendations such as, for this customer, we say, suggest liquidity products and a rebalancing amount. These are the tables that power my application. Let's expand some of the panes to show you what's actually going on over here. There we go. And let's minimize the DAG. On the left here, in our IDE for data engineering, I have a familiar file tree which I use to organize my code into bronze, silver, and gold layers. I even added some tasks. Over here, I write my code. And over here, this is the pilot pipeline graph, which I can use to selectively refresh tables, navigate to code, view data samples, and more. At the bottom, I have purpose-built panes for viewing tables, performance, and more, including insights. Let's take a look at one of these the code behind one of these tables. You will not be surprised to see that this is actually very simple code. And that is the power of declarative ETL. It frees me up to write my business logic. Of course, I can mix SQL as well as Python in a pipeline, which is very powerful. So I'm going to run this pipeline. And while this pipeline runs, let me show you one of my favorite features about Lakeflow declarative pipelines. I'm go. And the assistant added a valuable data quality constraint, which helps me make sure I get fresh, clean data. Finally, let me put this pipeline into production by hitting the schedule button. That's it. Voila. I have created a full pipeline which ingests data, transforms it and cleans it and aggregates it, and finally runs it in production. The IDE for data engineering is available for use today, and Lakeflow is generally available.